Man, that guy's hot. Pistons <laughs> <laughs> 13 straight losses to the Knicks coming in. Longest active losing streak against any opponent. How did it just dawn on me that Jalen Action Brunson? Yay. Yeah. All right. DiVincenzo. 101, 101. Oh! Uh. Dante hits the three. Knicks take the lead. Pistons down one. Quentin Grimes, former Nick, buries the three. Pistons take the two point lead. Give Monty's guys credit. Their record stinks, but they fight, man. DiVincenzo. Brunson on the run, patiently waits and hits. What a clever play. 35 and a dozen assists. Knicks push the lead to four. On that bucket right there. Next Pistons possession. Thompson from the corner. Shooting is not the, the Thompson twins strength yet, but man, that's a big hit. Trailing by one, there goes Grimes. All 14 of his points came in the fourth. Pistons lead by one. Here is the sequence that was controversial. Brunson with the miss. Wild scramble here. The ball gets saved. Pistons have it for the moment. Now who's got it? Dante's got it, but then it gets stolen by Thompson, who's going the other way. DiVincenzo goes low. No call. Brunson picks it up. There's Hart down low. Bucket good and a foul. So now the Knicks lead by one. Monty is incensed. Another look. Thompson's got it. DiVincenzo runs into him. And that allows, here's the contact. That allows Brunson to pick it up. Find Hart all alone. Who makes the bucket that gives the Knicks the lead? Now Hart from the line. Rattles out no. Hart gets the rebound. Fouled again. It's going to take a lot for this to work out the right way for you, Monty. After making the first, missing the second, the ball gets batted away. Monty Williams did not mince words about what he thought about the end game. The absolute worst call of the season. No call. And enough's enough. We've, we've done it the right way. <clears throat> we've called the league. We've sent in clips. We're sick of hearing the same stuff over and over again. We had a chance to win the game, <clears throat> and the guy dove into Asar's legs, and there was a no call. That, that's an abomination. You cannot miss that in an NBA game, period. And I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of our guys asking me, what more can we do, coach? That situation is exhibit A to what we've been dealing with all season long, and enough's enough. You cannot dive into a guy's legs in a big time game like that and there be a no call. It's ridiculous and we're tired of it. We just want a fair game called, period. And I got nothing else to say. We want a fair game and that was not fair. I'm done. He's not wrong. You can't find him for that. You can't, especially because after the game, Referee James Williams in the pool report referred to the controversial play and said the following. Upon post game review we determined that Thompson gets to the ball first and then was deprived of the opportunity to gain possession of the ball. Therefore a loose ball foul should have been whistled on New York's Dante DiVincenzo. That means you cannot foul that man for what he just said. Maybe the abomination I don't know but 